Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm winterizing my IV. I blew up the lines and everything like that. It's a brand new IV. The thing's like a year and a half old. Why well, did I make this video? Because I was ready to rip the rest of my hair out of my head. And I figured it might help somebody out of a jam. Went to hit the pump. Went to pull the antifreeze out of the bottle into the system. And it was not sucking it up. I'm like, what the heck is going on with this? This trail is only like a year old. So I figured out it is. You know, at first I looked into this um, little sink glass right here. There's a filter, and I could see some bubbles in there. So I emptied that, primed it, and I put some antifreeze in there, hit the pump. What I did is I took that end off right there, and I could see that it was trying to, the pump was trying to pull fluid out, but it just wasn't doing it. So I started thinking. So at the end of my, my RV, at the end of the hose on my RV, there's a screen right here, and uh, I'm like, you know, I wonder if the stupid little screen is blocking it from sucking, you know, the, the antifreeze out of the bottle. So I took this off. Here it comes. I stuck it in. I hit the pump, and sure as shit, it drew the antifreeze right out of the bottle. It primed itself, and it's fine. But I was like digging all around the internet, I was like reading all this stuff, I'm like how am I going to fix this thing, I've got to have the thing closed today. So that worked for me, um, try it out, it might or might not work for you, but it's worth a shot. That was definitely clogging my hose up and not allowing it to dry out of the antifreeze bottle. If you have any comments, leave a question, I will reply back to you. Thanks for watching guys.